All right, I'm going to move into unit conversions uh, with unit analysis now and just show you that it will work both ways. I want to start off with this one, 4.5 kilometers, and we're going to convert it into meters. Um, first, with moving the decimal, let's just show you how that works. Starting with kilometers, that's where we're coming from. Kilo, that's 10 to the third. Uh, and we're going to meters which is 10 to the 0. That's our base unit. Okay, So we're going to move three places and this is going from kilo to meters. So here we are. We're going to be moving to the right. So we'll go three places to the right. One, two, three, and we end up with 4,500 meters. 4,500 meters. That's with moving the decimal. Now uh, a key, a little hint maybe that you might want to know for, for from here on out just uh, to know if you're right. If the unit that you're starting from and going to, if you look at those, if your unit is getting smaller, which it is here, a meter is smaller than a kilometer. If your unit is getting smaller, then the number you have should get bigger, which it did. So the number does opposite from the from the unit. So if the unit get smaller numbers should get bigger and likewise if the unit gets bigger the number should get smaller so that's to, that's a way to look and check yourself if that doesn't happen if, if your units getting bigger and your numbers also getting bigger for instance then that probably means you did something wrong all right, so, so let's move forward into unit analysis. Unit analysis. And, and I'm going to use this same problem to illustrate the point that it works both ways. You can use unit analysis to convert units. And you can also use... All right, so you can convert units by moving the decimal. You can also convert using unit analysis. What unit analysis does is it basically is a, is a way to cancel out the units uh, and still not change the value of this number. So we'll start here with 4.5 kilometers and we're going to multiply this by something that's equal to 1 because if you multiply anything by 1 you don't change its actual value. We want to keep the same amount. We want to keep 4.5 kilometers the same amount. We want to multiply it, multiply it by something equal to 1. In addition to that we want to get rid of this kilometers kilometers is on top because there's an understood 1 on the bottom, bottom. So we want to put kilometers on the bottom over here because if kilometers is on the bottom and the top, they can cancel out. And we want to go to meters. So we're going to put meters here on the top. Um, and our conversion factor is that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. And we get that from our number line that we've been discussing. Kilo is 10 to the third, which is 1,000. So there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So we simply multiply 4.5 times 1,000 here, 